Hi, I'm Irving. You have just entered Cartertopia. <laughs> We begin today with an establishing shot. We've established two things. The laws of physics still work to keep an airplane aloft, and an airplane moves faster than a crane hook, neither of which has anything to do with our story. It's here. They're unloading the rolls. It's supposed to establish that we're at a seaport where a ship has just unloaded what he said were rolls. Rolls of what? We don't know yet. That's Diana. She certainly doesn't have any rolls. One custom 1935 Rolls Lawn Delay with platinum hood on them and coming right up. Oh, Rolls of Royce. Now see, if he had capitalized Rolls when he said it, I wouldn't have made that mistake. While the workers open the crate, guy on the phone checks a gun in this belt. This could get interesting. Well, that's a rose, all right, but it ain't a kind of small. <laughs> I expected it to be empty. I didn't expect that. Nice little touch by whoever stole the car. There they go now. They switched crates. Mystery Man jumps in his car and tries to go after them. He thought he was going to catch it in that. High hopes. He's got high hopes. Diana changes to Wonder Woman and jumps up onto a rack hanging from a crane where she can see better. She notes the direction they're going and starts leaping across rooftops to catch up. And she did not see that. This was a well-planned operation. She stops the wrong truck and finds it empty. The driver has no idea why another truck from their line was in the same area. As I said, well planned, and by someone very well connected. <laughs> Who is that guy? Nobody told me that the IADC and two females were going to interfere. Whoever he is, he's on thin ice with that remark. Interfere? Would you settle for metal? For your information, Inspector Bolt. We figured out he's a cop. Now we know his name, Misogynist Bolt. Wonder Woman and I were trying to retrieve an invaluable For your information, ship. Agent Prince, I was there on a tip that could have busted the biggest car theft ring since Original Sin. I was going to tail that Rolls Royce to its original source. And I suppose you think your car thieves are more important than national security. Steve finally calls time out. It's been decided and agreed upon that the two of you will be working together. Okay. Okay. Maybe I was off base. I take it all back. Except... Oh, brother, here it comes. I suspect Diana's thinking the same thing. The female part. You are most definitely female. Since birth. Since before that, actually, we all start out female. Wouldn't he love to have her tell him that? Good. Now that we have our genders straight, what can you tell us about this car theft organization? So that's what a female looks like. Hello. Oh, uh, sorry. He says they have to have a place where they're putting these cars so they can alter them, and so far I have no idea where that might be. They always manage to just slip away from me, like today. But this time I know the buyer, an ophthalmologist, Dr. Samson. This doctor will pay a hundred grand for that Rolls Royce, but what he really wants is a Duesenberg for which he'd pay even more. 
but pay to whom? That's the big question. Bolt says, if you go by the personality of the crimes, we know a bit about him. Our man, number one, is a gambler, a businessman. Efficient, well-organized. And someone in touch with big money. Okay, then, let's meet him. Yeah. Hold on. And buy the June bellies ten minutes before the bell. Go ahead, I'm listening. For 40 acres? All right. All right. Brazil? Uh-huh. Arbitrate and call back. Call waiting was still pretty new. It hadn't hit his town yet. I'm wondering, maybe, uh, maybe we could get a hold of a Duesenberg? We can give it a try. Sounds like you have a plan, Inspector. Best plan since Hannibal across the Alps. Brilliant. Not risky. That's sort of his signature line. Thankfully, we only have to hear it a couple of times. The ophthalmologist, Dr. Samson, has been brought blindfolded to the big boss's place. There you go, Doc. Over this way. This is the man. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Dr. Samson. Been one of those days. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Mr. Uh... As intended, sir, my identity remains a mystery to my clients and all but a few of my closest associates. Ah, yes, Mr. As Intended. Is that Armenian? They haggle for the rolls, and Mystery Man ends up taking a lower price, but keeping the hood ornament. It looks like this one, but the lady we're after is very much one of a kind, and more important to Uncle Sam than the cars are to the police. Please remember that, Inspector, in case your plan works. You can have your lady, Colonel. All I want is the man. That's good, because now you're going to have to get one to find the other. They're ready to go, but Steve has to James Bond them up a little bit. Diana, I have a lovely brooch for you. Let me guess. It fires knockout darts, right? It's a tiny microphone. Pick up every word you say. I guess I'll have to watch my language. <laughs> I certainly hope so. This is for you, Inspector. That fires the knockout darts, right? A ballpoint tape recorder. Clever. And that. And don't forget your camera. Not a weapon in the batch. These gadgets are all just for collecting evidence. Boring! And remember, Inspector, you're Arnie Lippincott. Small-time thief with big ideas. Diana suddenly feels the need for an eye exam. Now what do you see? I see 1935 Rolls-Royce Londelay. I beg your pardon? No, wait, it's an SJ-type Duesenberg. He tries to plead ignorance, but he's salivating. She starts talking dirty to him. 1934 SJ-type doozy. With dual windshields, front and rear. Dual side mounts. Body by Rolston, powered by the original, supercharged, straight eight. He may be in love, or at least in lust. You never really wanted that Rolls Royce, did you? Not if I can get a 34 SJ type doozy. <laughs> or he may need a towel. He's drooling all over himself. Later, henchman number one is making a call. Samson didn't show to pick up the Rolls. Could be cold feet. Could be competition. Yes, could be. Do you know what to do in that eventuality? Yeah, I know what to do. Diana drives the good doctor to a place where he meets Arnie Lippincott, the man with the car he wants. Unfortunately, Goon and the Goonettes followed them. We trade straight across this doozy for the rose. Any day. And the lady will be happy to take you for a drive. <laughs> There isn't going to be any trade. He dresses the doctor down for breaking their appointment and says, I'm taking that car as compensation for wasting my time. Diana says, yeah, sure you are. Yeah, put bullet holes in it. That'll go over big with your boss, won't it? They take Lippincott to meet the big man, exactly as Bolt planned it. While Diana and Dr. Samson get away, he pounds on Goon for a while. Too bad the Goonettes come back before he can finish the job. It's okay, Al. You're a thinker, not a fighter. A thinker? Ha! Huh. If brains were rain, he couldn't make a drop. <laughs> Diana reports in to Steve by way of her brooch and says, I'm taking Dr. Samson downtown to the police station for a little chat with our friends. Exit Dr. Samson, most likely for a very long time. 
Taunting Alfie like that just became Mr. Lippincott's favorite pastime. He'll keep it up relentlessly through the rest of the episode, and it's wonderful, mostly because Alfie takes the bait just about every time. You know that sound? Yeah, I know that sound. If you don't want to hear the one that follows, lay off of me. Yeah, go ahead and shoot him before the boss gets a chance to talk to him and find out where he's getting these rare cars. That'll get your brownie points. Keep in mind, they called this guy a thinker. Simply instruct your female associate to deliver that Duesenberg into my hands. Your hands? My foot, that's my Duesenberg. You keep your greasy meat hooks off it, whatever your name is. I'm glad he's not being obvious with the recorder pen. Stick it up his nose, why don't you? Mr. As Intended says, I'm perfectly willing to kill you for it, and I know you're a one-man operation. No. Well, this chicken makes two. Definitely a thinker. And now we know how high he can count. Okay. Okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to make you a deal. You are going to make me a deal. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, this happens all the time. I got it. That's the insignia from a 1937 Packard, but as intended, isn't interested in it. He does, however, have a buyer for a classic Mercedes. If Lippincott can get that, he can walk out of here alive and well, and stay that way afterward. By this weekend, Arnie Lippincott. For 20%, whatever your name is. His name is Mr. As Intended. <laughs> a capitalist after my own heart. 20% it is. Done. And my insignia? course. Thank you. Good enough. Alfie has to drive him back to his place. You can guess how happy Alfie is about that. Uh-oh. What's the matter? I forgot to tell you. This car is hot. Terrific. Don't worry. Nobody catches Alfie. Alfie does some pretty fancy driving, then swoops into a car wash. They both walk out drenched, but they've eluded the police. What about the car? I guess the police can find it abandoned at the other end of the car wash. Bolt heads off to meet with Diana and report, but he's not alone. You forgot to give him a tip, and he's not letting you get away without it. Bolt meets Diana on the roof and gives her the goods. And do we have a tape recording? That's in this pocket. Just lift that cylinder off. There you are. But he still forgot to tip the car wash attendant. Did you by chance get any fingerprints? He even got those. Now they may be a bit damp, but with the waterproof protective coating, there shouldn't be too many smudges. So that's what that was about. Smooth. I think maybe it'd be a good idea if you went down by yourself first. I got a shadow lurking around here somewhere, and it would be a good idea for him to see us together. Too late, but at least he realizes he's been followed. Your shadow is here, cop. I'll be going to talk to you real bad. Let's go. Slow. <laughs> Shadow's tougher than he looks. Either that or Bolt punches like a kitten. Where, are you going? Where do you think he's going? He's going down to the ground so he can catch you. Somebody help! Or not. Diana exits the building and hears Bolt yelling. Ah! <sighs> Interfering females. I'd say he earned that feint. When he wakes up, take him to the gym so he can learn how to punch. He only held his own against Alfie because Alfie's a thinker, not a fighter. You're the wizard who gives flying lessons without a plane? Under the spell of my lasso, you have to tell the truth. Who are you? Who's your boss? Who are you working for? Alfie's my boss. He owns a car wash. What does this Alfie do with stolen cars? 
I don't know nothing about stolen cars. I'm just a cashier. He's more than that since he was shadowing Lippincott on Alfie's orders. And he has to know something is going on with the cars Alfie brings there because he operated the switch. So I'm afraid Wonder Woman didn't ask the right questions. She wipes his memory and sends him on his way. He'll be back. Slim, you got that thing ready, Femme? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be ready. I don't think Lippincott's gonna cut into my territory anymore. It's a heat-operated switch. When the engine temperature reaches 180 degrees... Bluey. At IADC headquarters, IRAC is analyzing the photo and fingerprints Diana supplied. The IRAC computer has analyzed the fingerprints. Have you got an ID yet, Ira? Patient Steve Trevor. Then why did you say anything? Suspect is fiscal. Otis B. Businessman, investor, speculator, swindler. He has amassed two separate fortunes with illegal schemes and subsequently lost them in legitimate enterprises. Now we know who he is. Where is he? His record is increasingly despicable. Ira, why do I get the impression you're stalling? Who? Me? <laughs> yes, you. Now where is Otis Fiscal? He always hides his operation in unexpected places. Look, if you don't know where he is, why don't you just admit it? The Iraq computer is unaccustomed to admitting failure. That's what we get for programming an ego into him. Ira did, however, locate the car that Fiskel wants, so he's not a total flop. Lippincott returns to the garage to taunt Alfie some more. Where's the Amsterdam you promised me? Oh. You mean you got it? Of course. Well, where is it? I'm going to tell you. Alfie's a little too calm, Bolt. Might want to ask yourself why. You don't think you're going to swipe that car so you can get in good with the man? Just doing what the man tells me. No matter. The car is mine. Says who? Look over there, Turkey. <laughs> oh. Says him. That would be why. At HQ, Diana has come up with the key to the car in question. But Bolt was supposed to be here too, so they're afraid he's off hot-wiring the car himself. If he does that, the rich guy who owns the car will own Diana's head. She dashes over to where it is to give him the key. Hey, Bolt. I've got the best idea since women's suffrage. Why not use the keys? Surprise. You expected someone else? And by the way, who's Bolt? You know better than to use his real name in the field, Diana. What happened to Lippincott? He got all tied up. Why are you tying me up? Because I don't want him to get lonely. He drives to the car wash and they send him in. We're in a car wash, but we seem to be going down in an elevator. So that's how he does it. The cars don't come out the other end of the car wash. Are they really trying to tell me Shadow didn't know about that part when Wonder Woman quizzed him? I find that a little... Yeah. Boss, Alfie, I got the car you wanted. About this guy Lippincott, he's useless. I had to do it myself. The thing about that is, Fiskal doesn't care. They can play all the position jockey and games they want as long as he gets his car. Meanwhile, Steve has gotten the frequency to Lippincott's car radio. Arnie Lippincott, where are you? Do you read me? Hey, what's that? Come in, Arnie. Urgent message for Arnie Lippincott. He acts like he's never seen one before. If nothing else, he should mistake it for a CB radio. They were everywhere around this time. Lippincott, come in, please. Over. Shadow. Good move. We already know you can't beat him with your fists. The familiar looking rolls. 1935 Lawn You ought to be a used car salesman. <laughs> Cute. What happened to the hood ornament? Boy, you're a nosy broad. But if you must know, the boss took it for a souvenir. Oh, terrific. They've been chasing the car for no reason all this time. Now they have to find the boss. Lippincott reports to Steve by radio, and when Steve describes where Diana is, he knows exactly where to go. Don't go away, Shadow. Shadow. 
assuming he gets there in less than 35 million pieces. He pulls into a spot to watch the car wash and shuts the engine off. Diana reports that she's been transferred to a green four-door sedan. Matter of fact, there's one coming in right now. I'll keep an eye on them and move when they do. Let's hit the road. We'll monitor on the way. Alfie stops to call the garage and check in on Shadow. Uh, Shadow can't come to the phone right now. Leave a message after the urge! I got a bad feeling about that guy Lippincott. Yeah, like cop fever. I wonder who he really is. It doesn't matter. He ain't gonna cause us any trouble. Yeah, why? Because if he's running in that car of his, Bluey, remember? Bluey. Diana heard that and so did Steve. They can both figure out what it means. Inspector Bull, this is Trevor. There may be a bomb in your car. Repeat, a bomb. Get out immediately. Over. Bolt refuses, of course. He'll stay on their tail until he blows up, which will help his mission so very much. He follows them to a cabin somewhere in the woods. He turned the engine off, so it should be safe now. I found the hideout. It's a farm on Oak Creek, about four miles east of County Line Road. Bolt, are you out of that car yet? I'm getting out right now. I'm going to follow him on foot. Out. The engine is off. Why is it still heating up? Oh, <laughs> because we needed a really big distraction. They're about to toss Diana down a well. Diana gets away and the IADC is on their way to clean up the riffraff. But Bolt is going to deal with Fiskal personally. He's waited a long time for this. But he still can't punch worth beans. Fortunately, help is on the way. Alfie's a thinker, not a fighter. Steve and the crew arrive and take charge of the comedy relief. Will you take it easy? Hold it. That's about enough horsing around. Did you have to do that? That's pretty much it for Wonder Woman. Bolt and Fiskal are still going at it with no end in sight, but she can't take this away from Bolt. Unless he loses, which is a real possibility. They head to Fiskal's office to retrieve the missing hood ornament. We finally get to find out what's inside this thing that is so important. I'll take it. Okay. Drag it out! Draw it out! Way out! The Ecom Phase missile plans. Touted by military intelligence as being the most deadly system yet conceived. It's the big reveal. We're gonna stretch it out as long as we can. Well, now we can go forward with a defense system to neutralize it. So it's not something we developed. Who did? They shipped the microfilm in a Rolls Royce, so I'm going to guess England? Those crazy Brits. You never know when they're going to attack. So far, Season 3 is knocking it out of the park. I would really enjoy seeing Bolt come back, even as a regular. Make him part of the cast. He and Diana can team up. Maybe he can discover her identity, but help her hide it. We already know he's the kind of man who would do that. It's not to be, of course, because if there's one thing we've learned from this show, it's how to squander opportunities. Still, this episode had my attention from start to finish. Okay, maybe from shortly after start, but definitely to finish. The pacing is good, the story is believable, and Wonder Woman didn't even take down the big bad. The most significant thing she did was catch Bolt when he fell. Even with her in the mix, this was a genuine team operation that was well written and well filmed. If we can keep this up, soon I'll be wondering why we didn't get a fourth season. I am Irving and you are now exiting Cartertopia. What's it all about? I'll see. Is it just 
for the moment. 